So in this video, we're going to look at solving word problems involving addition and subtraction. And to be perfectly honest, when you get worded problems, really the best thing I can do to help you with this is to create a word bank. And in this word bank, it sort of gives you an idea of what words mean to add and, and what words mean to subtract. So I'll give you just some basic examples. Uh, let's say um, I said to you to reduce 10 by 3. We can see the word reduce is under subtraction. So that means to go 10 minus 3 equals 7. Um, another one might be to increase 10 by 3. And increase means to add. So we're just going to go 10 plus 3 equals 13. All right, now I do want to quickly mention sometimes the subtraction questions are written in the reverse order to um, what you are supposed to do. Um, I'm just trying to think of a good example. Okay, so 5 less than 10. Um, notice that less than is subtraction actually means to go 10 minus 5. Okay, so notice that the subtraction that we've done is in the reverse order of how the numbers were put into the question. And that is something that quite often happens with subtraction questions, and that's just something to um, be careful with when you solve these.